and we are back what's up guys how's it going so we couldn't get the diesel going but it's not the end get your hopes up because we're gonna do this she's gonna live again yeah she just needs some uh some thought some more ether and some more battery and probably some more wars but in the meantime we're gonna move some cars and then we're gonna hit that puddle doing mock chicken so what are you taking the jimmy i'm gonna take the sierra I'm, I'm saving I'm saving the blazer for Laura that's her favorite go-kart now so oh. her and I jumped this uh, Cavalier the other day obviously it wasn't the most amazing thing but she jumped it was a video so made her over the hill yeah made her over the hill so, so. I wish I could have jumped it backwards because it does go a lot faster in reverse someone said I should have added tranny fluid it would have went faster but yeah. ain't nobody got time for that so um yeah we're gonna yank it with the old Duramax as fast as possible. Uh, we're gonna test how strong these seatbelts are. So, which way are you going? I don't know. Well, you gotta tell me now, so we're I know where to stand. I'm gonna go straight and then down this way and over. You should go out in the field, oh, no, try and swing it around. All right, I can do that. And then come around that way or that way. All right, all right. You know, you're the boss. Let me get a good, uh, good spot up here. What a view up here. All right, fire away. You're gonna have to get a good run at it. Watch this thing just flip. There we go. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna get whipped. <laughs> oh, going for a second. I freaking love that Yankum rope. Works so well. It's funny because originally I didn't even want one in the first place. And then they sent one, and now it's my favorite thing. And thanks to you guys, we've sold a ton of them. So. Thank you for the support, and there's a discount code below. All right, we've cleared the path. We just have to move my truck and the Cavalier there, and we're good to go. <laughs> just getting dragged. I need to get rid of some cars. We need to get rid of that Durango, Mitsubishi, the Nissan behind there, the Ford Escape that's also behind there, and I guess the Saturn. All right, let's see what we can do. I should have filmed that. There's a hole in the window. I just opened the door and the whole window just fell off. <laughs> oh, crap. All right, pop that hood. No keys. Do you mean this is gonna run? This, it still runs. I mean, it did last time. We just parked it here, remember? So, hopefully there's enough juice left in the NOCO. I like the old silver trim, eh? Oh yeah, this thing, hey, convertible. Something smells like it's burning in here. Will it run? Hold on. Ow! <laughs> Meow! That was my finger. Just, hey. now nothing. Did the note go down? Are the lights still on? The lights still on. <laughs> I got no lights in her. Should we put the roof back? Okay now. Might have to boost it off the truck. Or just suck the uh, yank him to it and drag it out of the way. You struggling up there, Jay? First time around. boosting? Just trying to wheel them around. We're getting some sparks. Yeah. Fuel. I don't know, this thing's been sitting for a while. She might be heft. Maybe, maybe you need some diesel fuel. Yeah, the old 2.4 twin cam. Can we go around?
She might be out of gas too, actually. <laughs> it's below the low line. Oh, is it? All right, here's the deal. I just put gas in this, so is it neutral? All right, I'm gonna push this forward and then come in and maybe we'll just yank this out of the way. Right. Either way, just getting out of the way. Okay. Ain't nobody got time to start this unit. No. It's funny, because I just filled these up. I could have threw a liter in here, but. Live and you learn. All right. All right, let's see. That can start. Is this gonna start? There it is. We got one thing that runs down here. I think it runs pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. See you later. Oh. Oh, was I in the way? That was a cool burnout. I need the anchor. That was a good burnout. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, the All right. This is the one we pulled out of the bush the other day. All right, we're gonna try to to pull this piece of junk. I think it's in park. Whatever. Let's see what happens. We got the yankum. Thank God for this thing. Good, that's good. I don't know about that bumper ball, but... I pulled that... <laughs> it pulled that piece right off. Oh my god. Ah, oh, she's good. Jay, the rope wasn't straight. We got a knot. No! Uh, How are we going to get that out now? Frick. <laughs> That's a good question. Is she tight? Oh, yeah. Get some screwdrivers in there, maybe. Yeah. All right. All right. Second attempt. Are you ready? I'm ready. Almost. I think we gotta go more this way. Or not. Uh, is it out of the way enough though? Uh, you're close. I'd go more. Give her another yank. When you push the steer wheel in the horn <laughs> Yeah, I give her one more. You might be done there. You know what? Good. It just bent. <laughs> Look at this. It just bent this pillar. Oh, that's not good. Look at this. That's not good. Can you screw the rope. Oh, she's jammed up. Oh, no. You good? This rope is... Just use your hand. It's unbelievable. You gotta use your hand. Well, I looked. I'm like, whoa, that's kinked in there. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't ripped this rope. I know. She's been a good... No, we got to get that knot out. That's the problem. If anybody knows how to take knots out of rope that are super tight, let us know. So the only way we can tow stuff now... That's why they have seatbelts in cars. It's amazing what they can go through. All right, give her a yank. 
Oh, this one might be a tough one. Maybe we should actually use a truck. You are in a truck. Oh, yeah! Woo! I, I, I didn't... Oh, you almost got her! You might rip your bumper off, but we'll see. That's the goal! Oh! Keep her going! No. I think a couple more, right? Just give her. <laughs> yeah, keep her going! <sighs> nice. Hey, hold on! Do you want to, I'll hold the rope and you can maybe pull it sideways or something or go that way. Get the truck. Yeah? Be way easier. <laughs> Never. It looks, looks cool though. I know, but I feel like. Yeah, look at this. It, I can do it all in one go with the truck. Look at this. Oh yeah. That's how you know it's good. I've never had big confidence in the bumper balls. <laughs> the old bumper balls. The old bumper balls. Maybe if we're pulling a little 100 pound trailer. And the old fry guy. Okay, you got the truck. We got some lights. And old faithful, eh? She sounds rough, but she's a good machine. That's how you know it's good. It's a good unit. This thing will yank that thing out. Oh, yeah. No problem. Well, they seen what we pulled out of the bush earlier. <laughs> yeah. This one has seen better days. Okay, let's see if this GMC can pull this, uh, Cavalier out. Whoa! All right. I need two hands, so we'll try back in here in a minute. Okay, we're hooked up, ready to go. Oh, maybe not, eh? See what she's got here. Cavaliers end up pretty heavy, I guess. Oh! Oh! There goes the seatbelt. Oh, was worried about the yank. No, the rope's fine. That's unbelievable. Dude, I have never seen a seatbelt break that way. I mean, you, you, you were giving her though. I've seen a lot of stuff break, but. That's crazy. Oh yeah. It's even warm. There was smoke that came out and it blew up. Right. Oh yeah. It definitely takes a lot, that's for sure. No that's crazy. They wanted this door, did they? Well, too late now. Yeah, I think we're what if you go off the rim, no? <laughs> the rim. <laughs> <laughs> She's out of the wafer. It's up to you. Ah. I think it's got to go more. Yeah. There's three more seat belts in there. True. Did this it is move true. It all there? No. Barely. You're moving lots, though. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's reassess. That's, uh... Hook it through this window. I'll pull it, try and pull it backwards around. Okay. All right. Just pull it sideways. Okay. Okay. Watch yourself. Fifth attempt. Yeah. Well, we could have done that from first, the first try. Now we're good. Yeah, one sec. Oh! Keep her going! Nice!
Well, that worked good. This poor rope, I tell you. She's got some frays in her, but she's still good. Uh, she had some frays before. All right, it's go time. It's time to get this puddle and get out of here. Okay, let's go. Wide open. Okay, here we go. Sweet, that was good, man. Cleaned her up a bit. Oh, yeah. I was trying to do a slow mo with my phone. Let's try to get another one. Oh, is he stuck again back there? Oh, he's getting a good run at it. Here he goes. I did a couple slow mos with my phone too. Oh, I had the double phones going. <laughs> now that's definitely, I think the puddle, the fastest the puddle's definitely ever been hit. Man, that's a, that was awesome. Yeah. There's no water left now. I don't even think I've ever hit the puddle. I think it's always, it's always us. It. But it's not even that bad. I'm just like, I put my seat back and my camp, the airbag goes off. Nah, that's fine. Hit. But yeah, it's just like, Whoa. just hold on for dear life. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it would have been a lot worse if the ice was in there. Oh that's yeah. Bad. That's a thick ice though. It looks like over an inch thick. I know, but. The ice was already kind of knocked out. Oh. So. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this one up. Sorry, I wish this video could have been longer, but we took so long with the uh, big Detroit diesel there. So hopefully next time we can get it going and we're gonna fill full of ether and make it run away. And hopefully we can get rid of some of these freaking damn cars. Right on. It's time, I need my scrap guy. Come pick him up. So thank you guys again. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you later.